this bill is about the safety and we are talking about children. Republicans and Democrats at the State House continue to clash over transgender athletes in interscholastic sports. GOP lawmakers arguing that kids who develop physically as boys and then transition can put the safety of other girls at risk. Democrats saying injuries already happen. Regardless of gender, that injuries within the way the sports teams are constructed right now are going to take place. The difference here is the um, the physical abilities and characteristics of the transgender um, uh, females against uh, biological females. Some trans athletes are coming forward to testify, including Mael Jacques, who won a high school girls high jump championship earlier this year. I didn't join sports with the goal of dominating the competition or being better than anyone else. No one would go through the bullying and self-hatred of transition purely to win a sport. Opponents point to a recent incident during a high school basketball game in Massachusetts that left female players injured. The remaining players didn't want to continue on because they feared for the injury. For the injury. And yes, if you watch the video, it is the trans student throwing the girls to the ground. Both Senate and House have passed similar legislation organizing youth sports from middle school on by sex at birth. Republicans have the votes to pass these bills in the name of what they say is fairness. Democrats contend the status quo is fair, even if a trans athlete can dominate the competition. In sports, there are winners and there are losers. And it is actually a good part of life learning to lose and figure out how you go forward. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.